We can fly the camera around and view what's happening in the game to our heart's content. Even more powerfully, we can rewind. We can go back and we can view a questionable section of the game over and over with these powerful profiling tools available to us. There is no excuse to us for not tracking down lag problems given this tool set. Of course, it gets even more interesting. All of this I've shown you up until now is all of the network data of the host box in one big bucket, like the graph showing all of network use of the host to all clients. That's not really the most interesting thing. The most interesting thing is this, which looks sort of the same to you, but I'll take my word for it. This is showing bandwidth as sent to the particular client there with the sword only. This is the contents of the packets that we, were sent, we sent to him in this game at this time. We can also go in and look at a particular object like this shotgun and press a button and filter all of our data being sent to that one elite, with, that one guy with the sword, to show only data sent about that shotgun. Similarly, this biped. We can say, oh, this is all the stuff we transmitted about that biped. This is the total output of our prioritization system, the movement of that guy recently, every attribute we care about. But these are still one second averages. Oh, we can get way more detail than that. We have all the data. We can show every single packet that we sent to this client and look inside them in this very visual way to see exactly which packets included updates about this guy, what properties they included. We can scroll through time and scrub back and forth exactly like we did before. This whole picture is what allowed us to reduce the overall bandwidth use of Halo 3, uh, pardon me, Halo region from Halo 3 by over 80%.